Okay, so now come back to our quadratic inequalities here. Let us look into first example. So what you should do first, the step 1 should be simplify first. Make x squared with a positive coefficient as a subject. So such as this one, we would have 2x squared plus with x and then minus 6 equals to 0. So simplify this one, we would have 2x together with x would be minus and plus over there equals to 0. So our x now is equals to x less equals to 0. Okay, so finding your x, finding x would be equating this the equals to 0 one by one so we are having x equals to 3 over 2 as well as negative 2 so what's next is we should draw them into one line like this so the smaller part should be negative 2 the greater one is 3 over 2 so now it's the lesser part less than equals to 0. So less than equals to 0 will be under the graph. So under the graph is this one. Okay. So our answer should be if it is asking about of x, so we would want to express our answer to be like x such that in between greater equals because we got equal sign there negative 2 as well as 3 over 2 though if it doesn't emphasize anything you can express your answer to be with a close bracket of negative 2 up until 3 over 2 okay straightforward also so first always simplify so you should have x squared plus 2x minus with 15 greater equals to 0 so basically factorize this we should have x plus with 5 but minus with 3 so greater equals than 0 so our x should be negative 5 as well as 3 so now by using graphical method we always train ourselves to draw a smiley graph like this in which you have to make your coefficient for x squared as positive in front here okay so if it is greater so that should be an outside region over there so your final answer if you want to express this in the set solution that should be x such that less than equals to negative 5 or x greater than equals to 3 might as well write your answer to be negative infinity up until negative 5 which this one included but for infinity 1 we don't have to use any close bracket we always train ourselves to use open bracket union with 3 up until infinity with a close bracket also okay Okay guys, so if just now we learned how to solve our quadratic inequalities by using the graphical approach, now we're going to learn how to solve the questions by using real number line as well as later on we're going to go to table of sign. Okay, so for real number line, it's been guided by the steps that Bin has already put into an acronym names FARSPA F-A-R-S-P-A -A. here would be discussed later on eh? okay so before anything else we should make our quadratic inequalities here as the simplest form with the coefficient of x squared is positive so might have some remark here coefficient for x squared should be 
positive eraser okay so now we want to simplify it into a form of a x squared plus b x plus c all right so let's say if 2 x squared because it's already positive here so 2 x squared minus with 3 x minus also with 5 and then don't make any careless mistakes it should be greater equals than 0 because it's this way all right so next what is f actually f stands for factorize so meaning that if you have to factorize this one it should be 2x 2x with minus 5 there and then x plus with 1 okay so this one remain as greater equals than 0 just bring it over okay so we have factorized our quadratic expression here so next what is a a is actually assume and what kind of assumption that we should have here it should be always greater so in this case because we have equal sign together so we should assume greater equals than zero so what is the what are the things that should, should be assumed as greater equals than zero it should be all these factors here so let's say if you have two factors there so 2x minus 5 must have been assumed to be greater than 0. So eventually x will be greater equals than 5 over 2. Meanwhile, for x plus 1, if been assumed as greater equals than 0, so eventually that one is x greater equals than negative 1. Okay, so there are purpose letter huh? why we need this set of intervals so we have two intervals here already so next what is our next step our next step is r r here stands for real number line which i could have acronymed it to be r and l so our real number line should be drawn in a straight line so now we have two values instead which are negative 1 as well as 5 over 2 please label them correctly here so our two sets of intervals here have to be drawn there so it's equal is greater than equal together to the right there okay so greater equals as well as our 5 over 2 as well all right so what happened now is s s is stands for sign okay what kind of sign that we should put r s and p subsequently are all those sets inside these figures here so sign is because we are assuming greater equals than zero here so whatever region the three regions are all together there whatever region with line we put positive on it okay meanwhile for those without lines here there and there we should put negative instead all right clear and then next product p is for product product is basically the multiplication of our signs here so what are the products for that they should be minus times minus is plus minus times by plus that is minus and plus with plus should be plus also okay so what are the function for these signs in the answer part uh, stand for answer so since a stands for answer on how to pick our answer we should opt that using the information from our f here so 
to denote our answer, we need what is the information of the sign given in the F there. Alright, so here, why we need the sign? Because we want to take the region agree with the sign in F. So greater equals means positive. Huh? So we circle up all the regions with positive signs. Okay, so here and there should be our answer. So our final answer, regardless whether the question asks you to give an interval form or solution set, so you should list down them. Okay, so let's say if I want to put my answer in terms of solution set, so now x should be less than negative 1. Okay, which negative 1 also included. Or our x also is greater equals than 5 over 2. Okay. Or sometimes you might want to you might want to express your answer in terms of interval form also can. So that should be negative infinity up until negative 1 included. Union with 5 over 2 also included up until infinity. Okay, don't forget your hashtag. Okay. So next, what about table of sign? Table of sign is somehow method of using table, of course. So now, compare is the same questions. Huh? It always have to be simplified first into a quadratic expression so that we can take its factors okay so we have to x squared minus with 3x minus 5 again greater equals than 0 again so this one been factorized that should be 2x minus with 5 as well as x plus with 1 so greater equal than 0 so our x now having values of 5 over 2 as well as negative 1. Okay, so please be careful here. How did I get 5 over 2 and negative 1? It came from when I actually equate this 2 to 0 respectively. Yeah? Okay, so look carefully here. How many factors we have? 2. Factors I mean by how many brackets we have here. So, they are 2, which is 2x minus 5, x plus 1, as well as the multiplication of this 2, which is 2x minus 5 with x plus 1. Okay, so how many columns that you should have here? It depends on how many x that you have there, alright? By actually just... Imagine that this is your negative infinity and this is your infinity up until infinity there. Alright, and then in the middle here should be the smaller values of x up until the bigger values of x. Okay, so let's say I have negative 1 and 5 over 2. So it should start it with negative 1 as well as 5 over 2 there. Okay, so this intervals here should be in between negative infinity up until negative 1 okay and then here is negative 1 up until 5 over 2 because they are using the equal sign so this one is close bracket for infinity or negative infinity it's always open bracket and meanwhile this also close bracket Meanwhile, this is 5 over 2 included up until infinity also. Alright, so what are the functions of this spaces there? They actually, the values, when you substitute any value in between of this interval. So let's say negative infinity up until negative 1, you want to use negative 2, right? Let's say also um, in between negative 1 up until 5 over 2, the logical value might 
have 0 maybe and 5 over 2 up until infinity should be like taking 3 for example okay could be a whole number and exact integer so that your calculation inside here will be much easier so let's say if you're having negative 2 so negative 2 when you are putting inside here it should be negative 4 or minus with 5 so it's actually negative 9 so negative 9 is the value when you substitute negative 2 the keyword here is substitute uh. when you substitute negative 2 inside here again into the x that should be negative 9 which is negative isn't it okay and then how about this one if you substitute negative 2 over there it should be negative 1 which also negative okay and then this is multiplication right so multiplication just multiply this together that should be positive the same goes with this when you are having 0 when you substitute that that should be negative as well as 0 substitute that should be plus positive and 3 when you substitute that it's 1 so it should be positive how about that 3 3 plus 1 is 4 which also positive so this is the multiplication because it's timing together there so this is minus this is plus all right so again which region that you want to take as your answer it depends on the f here also when you factorize what are the situation that you have is it positive or negative so now it's positive so taking these two as the answer so our answer here should be negative infinity up until negative one included for infinity is always open and then five over two included up until infinity also okay so more or less like the one that we have in first bar or real number line but also applicable for table of sign okay so next for this one i would love you to do this by yourself even though the question is quite a hot question